it's Friday. Yeah. And it's big money day in Legislative Council, but yep. I guess it's boring. Yeah, it's IT. They're talking about ITB. The chairman's trying to limit the Innovation uh, Technology Bureau. Yeah, and I think it'll mm-hmm. finally, finally, finally get through. Are you sure? They, no, I asked you the same thing last week. I asked you the same thing last week. I'm not sure. <laughs> ah. And there are other things that need to get passed. There's other work being done. The Public yeah, Works Subcommittee has yeah, been hammering yeah, things yeah. through. Uh, hammering! That, oh, no, you were on that about that yesterday. I've got to get a new uh. word. <laughs> I got another. I got another word for you. I'll try to use. I'll try All to right. drop it in today. Well, but, well, so ITB, not so interesting. Uh, the Transport Committee is going to be talking about taxis and Uber. They're covering a lot of material today. Oh, yeah. But the one that caught my eye was the whole situation about. They basically are saying, we're going to study the transport and taxi system. And there's a whole laundry list of things that people are interested in. It's not just the Uber thing, which is on the list. Yep. Uh, number of licenses on Lantau yep. of a lot of interest to people. Because for all the growth there's been in Lantau, they yep. haven't changed the number of licenses. I think it's 50 yeah. since yeah. 1997, yeah. which is crazy. Yeah. Which is crazy. And people are complaining. Uh, so people are asking about Lantau. They're talking about having a premium taxi service. right? You know why? So there's a lot Do you know on. why? Why? Do you know why this is this is such a crazy scenario? Well, uh, do you know why the reason behind? Because they're trying to catch up with technology and Uber and Lyft. No, and no, 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 no. I mean, why, 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 why the license have not go up? Oh, in Lantau, uh, basically everything. I assume the taxi guys are all against yeah. anybody getting licenses. It's new because licenses. they also always have an underground system. Yes, of course. For minibuses, yeah. for taxis, yeah, and, yeah. and yeah. all that. All right. Yeah, I got friends who live out there, and they're just oh. like, not impressed. Not impressed. All right. Well, so, you're on the topic. I will pick my keyword for today. Mm. M O R A L. Ah, moral. Okay. Well, tell you what. I had something I was going to talk about. I had. I had a. Um, I, you know what? Actually, I'm going to keep on transport. Uh, I'm going to talk about. I, I had an interview with the deputy mayor of Vancouver. Oh, Vancouver. Yeah, deputy mayor of Vancouver, a woman named Andrea Reimer, uh. and uh, very, very impressive woman. I mean, I sat down. She's got in hat. Vancouver or in Hong Kong. Uh, you in Hong Kong. I met her in Hong Kong. Oh, in Hong Kong. She's yeah. in Hong Kong. She was here for the World Green Conference. Ah, the green building thing. Yes, last week. Yes, yes, yeah. that's right. All so right, she's here for that. Uh, Vancouver's made a lot of strides in this area, but but on the transportation thing, they have something in Vancouver, and I don't know why we don't have it here. They have something called Car to Go. Have you ever heard this? No. Essentially, there are like cars. You see them all over Vancouver now. They're tiny little cars, like you know those little mini cars. Yep, like the smart car. Smart car. Yep. I think there are smart cars, actually. Oh, all right. So essentially, you have an app on your phone. Okay. And you want a you want a car. Yep. But you know, normally you got to rent a car for a whole day. Yep. And it costs a pile. You can like get on the app, go do do do, and yep. find out where there was a car parked near you. Go over to it and like basically yeah. book it's it. It's kind of like the rent a bike system. Yeah, with and the, rent a car. The, the car pops open. The door pops yeah. open electronically. They send a message to the car, and you get in and drive where you want to go, and then you just park it wherever. And it's fine. And then somebody else can come and use it. So it's like yep. you just rent it for one little drive. Yep. Right? Don't no such thing in Hong Kong. Yeah. Now there's maybe a lot of reasons for that. Parking might be more of an issue. I like because I don't know. But they must have solved those things. And <laughs> system. you try to bring that to Hong Kong, see yeah. the way the taxi drivers react to it. But Uber. how does it that relate to moral? Ah, okay. Actually, uh, you talked to her about on moral. I talked to her about something else. Yes. Okay. So there was a bigger. Issue that we talked about. So this is kind of a double today for everybody. You get a double. Uh, it's Friday. So transport. Yeah, sure. So transport. One of the other things we talked about uh, was when her uh, party. So they have different parties at the civic level in Canada yeah. than they do from the big ones that everybody knows the national yeah. level. Party as in political party. Political party. Yeah. Not not they have different parties. In yeah, we got great parties yeah. in Canada. <laughs> this is a civic political party. Yep. Uh, called, if I get this right, Vision Vancouver, yep. and. Uh, their entire campaign and all their policies sprang from a moral platform. Ah. Right? So they had a value-based platform that they then build their policies on. Like, everybody has the right to a clean environment. So they don't just have, like, a recycling policy and a Not air practical. pollution policy. Not practical level. It begins with this idea that there are values that they hold. And it works? And it, it really seems to have worked. And Even I really, for election? Yeah, like, it translates. So... They wow. build that moral base, and then they used that to develop policies that support that. And I mean, I haven't seen anything like that in Hong Kong. People are just like, oh, democracy is a value. But there's not like a comprehensive set of values that they ask people to ascribe to yeah. and then build policies on it. And it would be really interesting to see if something like well, that... Well, to conclude, I will throw a question for your double. Okay. Why do you have such kind of 
politicians because, because we have you have to ask what kind of voters do we have. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we have a genuinely competitive system where if you, so if you do the right things, it works. My question is for you. What kind of voter is you? Yeah. All so right. If, if our voters want a more, you know, kind of a moral-based policy platform, yeah. presumably they would reward somebody. In the you place. decide what kind of politics, not the politicians. Yes. Voters decide. Uh, yeah. All right. Get out there, voters. Make some decisions. Good for thought. Yeah. Bye. Cheers. Good.